All right, I think we're on Libra now. Okay, let's see. I was doing all signed singles, and I think I'm on Libra. All right, Libra, let's do your reading real quick. Okay, so we're talking about an emperor. This was over here. That didn't fly out. That was just sitting there, but I feel like this is the story. Okay, so I feel like, um, okay, so I feel like this is talking about soulmate connection, whether it's a lover or not. Okay, so soulmate could be uh, anyone from past life. Um, it could be a, a work contract agreement. Um, and sometimes in a relationship, one person wants to move on and the other one doesn't. And that causes a conflict. Okay, so let's see what happens. Let's see what, what it's saying here. I'm going to shuffle one more time. Okay. I feel like whether it's love, work, or friendship, you want union. So, um, let's see where those other cards are. What are you doing towards a union? Are you, let's ask that. What are you doing towards a union that would make them uh, want to unite. Okay, so. Well, I feel like, well, <laughs> okay. On the positive, it's like you've got two minds here just like two cups. Okay, on one side, you remember the good times. Okay, now, is that historical fiction, right? <laughs> All right, so, um, but anyway, here we have the good times, so you remember the good times, but then it's like you kind of let them know that you have other options. So, I'll let you read it if you want, but what I'm getting is that you let them know that you have other options and it might not be words, but through your actions, like you're fine without them. Okay. And... All right, so let's get see what else it says. Okay, so it could be an earth sign. This is someone who's independent and wants to be with you, actually. But they're working on something. This could be you. Now, if they don't see the value in themselves, hmm. they see you as trying to balance your life out. But they want connection. They're wanting to aim high. That's how they see it, as they are aiming high for you. Okay, so. I don't know if you're telling them that or if that's something they're just feeling. We're through the energy. Okay, but they're passionate for you. 
Now what I'm getting is, is it could be a Taurus because... Now the reason why I'm getting that is because a lot of times I read wands as water energy, water signs. So they could be harnessing, uh, they could be... You could get emotional when you think about them, or they could be uh, have emotional uh, warmth towards you. Now, what I'm getting is Jupiter, and Jupiter is uh, transiting, I want to say, Taurus, so that's why, how I picked up that. Okay, so, but they're passionate about you. Now, the fleur de lis history isn't so positive all the time. So, I feel like they've taken the good and the bad with you. Okay. Now, here's the three of pentacles, but they want to bring it into union or unity. They see the potential, whether it's a lover or work connection, soulmate. They see the potential... But what? It's like they, it's, they feel like you turn the world upside down. And then they, they don't know what to do. And they're even trying to go into their, in the, into the psychic realms. So that could be Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Now I feel like you've been dreaming about union or unity. You want healing, but you don't know how to bring it in. Now, this could just be of two minds, right? The scales. It's like infinity is yet to be proven. Eternity is a guarantee, not infinity. Queen of Pentacles. So you could have had a child with this person. But what I feel like I'm really getting from this card is not child necessarily for some. It's legacy. What you're going to leave. And your opinion is, does a leopard change your spots? It's like, why do I have to change? But you still keep an eye. It's like um, you cause towers. Okay. Shake up energy. And it's like you have kind of a K sera sera kind of uh, feeling about it. And then them looking in as they don't see that as um, so honorable. They see it as you kind of running off and maybe even a little bit shady there. Okay. Now what I'm getting with this is I feel like on some level the family dynamic is influencing your work life and love life. Okay, so take a look at that. Okay, the next card, I leave this in here. This is the alignment card. It's like aligning all your energy centers in your body. But it's like you wouldn't know, even know where to begin, you feel like. Okay. So you focus on maybe your children. You want to, 
but maybe there's some broken connections here. Like you didn't have an input. Because this is like fire and mind. It's like you didn't have an input. And when you did, it didn't turn out so pleasant. All right, now we can't blame that on uh, Mercury retrograde because that's from a long time ago. Okay. <laughs> All right, now. Okay, so Nine of Wands came out. So it's going to take perseverance. It, it's going to, you got to look at the big picture. And then on the bottom is Five of Wands. So are you, do you feel competitive? Maybe the competition within a family dynamic or work dynamic is affecting your love life. Okay, now here's the Nine of Wands. But you want to give to it. But sometimes you just settle for physical connections because I don't know if you really want to put in the work. Yeah, see? Let's flip this. Yeah. So it's like you sometimes you really just don't want to put in the work. You just want to focus on the physical connections. But I feel like your soul is calling for more. Here's eight of wands, like fast communication. Okay. Now you've been dreaming about uh, communication with work for some of you. For some of you, it's um, uh, your love situation. Okay. But if, there's a sore spot there. Because of control issues. Okay, so take a look at that, maybe. You want to feel light as a feather again. And you're ready for your ships to come in, right? But right now, it's like there's focus on money, and it's not so positive. So, can you find a positive track to flow with, right? What is working for you financially? Maybe focus there more. Okay. Now, for some of you, that this is... Um, wanting a happy ending and feeling like you can't get there with family and money. Okay. Yeah, sometimes it's good just to, okay, align the heart and mind and then make a, a move or focus in one direction, right? Okay. Now, for some of you, there is a Capricorn that you can't stop thinking about. It's like all this, like all the holidays you think of them. And you still have a sweet spot for them. Even though you wouldn't want the world to know. It's like in the water energy, in your emotions, but not... Uh, shown in the light of day. Yep. You would like to bring it in the light of day and let them know, the party know at least, that person. But you feel like your wishes there can't be fulfilled on some level. There is some sort of not matching of a belief system or moral code. Okay. Now, for some of you, this might be like religious things, um, government. But what I'm getting with this today is um, actually you still hold the key to their heart. And they want to release that. 
You do too, I feel like, on some level. But you feel like you're going to get the Queen of Swords. Like they're going to put their foot down. Let's get something on that. Yeah, and here's the Nine of Pentacles again. So you don't always see them in a positive light. So that's one thing. You got to, if on one side you see the positive and then one side you see the negative, you either have to focus in the positive or move in that direction or just stay neutral. I feel like this is causing in your work life, in your family life, this back and forth um, is like stagnant energy because it's middle way. It's slow and non-moving. It's like not making a decision. All right, now, what you need to do is take that wand and go in a direction. Okay, that's the suggestion. You don't have to do anything. Yeah, see? Here's she coming up. This is the same person. Okay, so I got the polar opposite here, and there, there's this one. Sh uh, but they might, might be like uh, cougar energy to you, so they might have left... They might have left and then went with someone younger. And that might have been a little bit intimidating to you. That could be subconscious for someone. All right, if it's not yours, don't take it. And then and into instead of feeling vulnerable, what you do is just think of how all the terrible things happened. And then that way you let go of it. Yeah. <laughs> And there were times when they came at you that you would match their energy in a negative way. But I feel like what it takes is positive communication. That's going to bring you the ribbons in the sky, like that Stevie Wonder song. Yeah. Woo! Okay. Now, so this is like a diamond. It's like you, the relationship was a diamond in the rough. And an acorn is a potential that could blossom, I feel like, or the seed that could grow by the end of the shear. Six of Swords reverse. Yeah, I feel like there's going to be re a return on some level. Now, let's hope it's not. I hope this is the sun and moon aligned. Let's take a look at that moon. Yeah. Okay. Now, there could be some interaction with money stuff, and that could have been the negative view. And that could have caused you to not invest emotionally. All right, now let's take and let's look at that moon. Let your fears dissolve. Okay, so that's the core. Now you might go see some of the cancer readings. That they might it might light up for you. But I feel like what you've been doing is hiding in your shell and then not see that's what happens sometimes with Libras. They hold it in and hold it in and then they blow up. Okay. And um, I have air elements too, so <laughs> But that happens. I've seen it happen. So and it might need not just be an air thing, but that's what I'm picking up. Okay. And so the key is open communication, movement with communication. That's what I'm getting. Okay. And uh, there may have been some mirroring there. Okay. Because here's the water and I see a reflection. But this moon is bright right so it's like finding the silver lining but as i feel like you open up and show a more um vulnerable side right all right this is on the bottom so that could be in your charts that's affecting it okay so 
breathe through any tension. It's like honor your feelings by communicating. That's what I'm getting. And think before you speak. And see the bigger picture. Oh my goodness, these cards. Okay, so that's what I'm getting. And I leave you with that. Oh wait, let's get um let's get one romance card because I feel like you wish you could go back to a, a sweeter time. Okay, now let's see. Let's take a look real quick at the romance thing. The whole deck wanted to come out. Okay, this one flipped. Divine timing. A serendipitous event. Woo! See? That's what I was talking about, that holding it in. And then it's like if you hold it in so much, you can't hold it in anymore. Flames of passion ignite. Okay. Oh, and Forever Young. I got the song Forever Young when I touched it. A song of youthful playfulness. See, that's, that's what I feel like you remember those times. Okay, now on the bottom... Let's see, what does this say? Love language, quality time. So you have to create space. Be the witness to each other's lives. So you have to be present, right, when you're with them. Not in your phone or whatever, right? Okay, now that's for someone. I, f I feel like a female. <laughs> now for the man, I don't, I don't see that, but... Um, Okay. So as you follow your own spiritual path, I feel like this is where the opening happens. Whether it's work, love, money. Okay. And I leave you with that. <laughs>